the man that was blind, here he comes today looking like Brother Chris. Stand up, Brother Chris, so everybody can see you. Stand up there on the earth so everyone can be able to see you. This is this, this, is this guy that was blind. But he's, he's not blind anymore. Here he is. Before then, I'm pretty sure he wasn't looking like that. He would have been looking a, a, a more low key. But because he had gone and got his eyes washed in this pool of salon, and those eyes came open, and then all of a sudden, he decides he goes home to get himself all cleaned up. He can get himself sharp. He go strutting down the street. Read. Is not this he that has sat in bed? Isn't that the same one that I saw sitting out there with this big bucket in his hand, begging for people to drop pennies in there to give him some money to feed himself because he's a grown man and he can't have a job because he can't see? Read. Some said, this is he. Others said, he is like him. Yeah, you see, they was confused. Remember, Sister Brianna was mentioning my message the other night. The one thing about it, whenever you got the Lord on your side, the devil doesn't know what direction that you're going to come in. So he got confused. So one said, oh, this is him. Then another said, that's not him. They was confused, I guess so, because they were not used to seeing him look like that. Really? But he said, I am he. He let you know. He spoke out clearly. Oh, yes, this is me. This is the brand new me. This is not the old me. Before I was in darkness, before I couldn't see. But now I am in the light and I can be able to see men as they are. I couldn't even see men even as trees before. I couldn't see them at all. But now I can be able to see them. Read. Therefore said they unto him. And so they said unto this man, How are thy eyes open? How did this thing happen to you? And he answered and said, A man that is called Jesus. Jesus made clay, made clay, and anointed my eyes. Anointed my eyes. He took that clay, the same thing that they were created his body out like there, and he put it together, and he put it in my eyes, and he told me to go and wash. Next verse. They said to him. They said to this man, Where is he? Where is this man you're talking about? He said, I know not. I don't know where the man is. They brought to the Pharisees. They brought him to the Pharisees, which is all of those critics of Jesus, the one that talked about him, hated him, and, and persecuted him. Three, ten him to him. Why would you want to go before those evil, wicked ones? Him that four time was blind. That was a, here's a man. Now, this man you see here is all dressed up here, wearing his suit and his clothes and everything. And this man right here. He was a man that's been blind from his mother's womb. They brought to the Pharisees him that aforetime was blind. And it was the Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay. Yeah, this is on the Sabbath day when he did that. You can notice that Jesus came about every single thing he did. He was not doing things according to the way that man, man had things going because that's what it is. Man is always creating his own ways, his own doctrine, doing his own thing. I, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do the other. They add to the word of God saying what you can do, you cannot do. Read. And open his eyes. Then again the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He said unto them, he put clay upon my eyes and I washed and to see. He keeps saying the same story to each person that asks him. It's one thing about a person, whenever they're lying, they can't tell the story the same each time. But you can tell whenever the person is telling the truth, every time it'll come out the same exact way. If you have to say it a hundred times, every time it's going to be the same thing. Read. Therefore said some of the Pharisees, they know these Pharisees are talking back to this man. This man is not a God. This man is not a God. Because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Because this man doesn't keep the Sabbath day. And he and he is talking about spitting on the ground. And, 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 and I, I'm pretty sure they had something to say about that. That's not even sanitary. To spit on the ground. And talking about taking it and putting it in somebody's eye. And don't tell them to go and wash it in some pool or another. Don't you know that there's a lot of stuff that's going on in that pool? I'm pretty sure they had a whole lot to say about that. But he said, this man keeps saying the same thing over and over again. Read. Others said, and others says, how can a man that is a sinner do how such can a man miracles? that is a sinner do such miracles? You get what I'm saying? Now they're talking about your Lord and my Lord. They talk about he's a sinner. They call him a sinner. You know why? Because 
they don't know nothing about him. And yet they are the one that's supposed to be preaching about, talking about the word of God, talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which is the promise. And yet those are the same one that is saying that this man here is of the devil. Read. And there was a division among them. And there was a division among the people themselves. They said unto the blind man again. They go back and talk to the blind man all over again. Now he's no longer blind. You know, he's like Prince now. What yeah. sayest thou of him? What are you talking about about him? That he opened thine eyes. You saying that this man opened your eyes? He said, he is a prophet. This man that did this for me, he's not just any man. He's not just old Eddie old Joe, but this man is a prophet, which means that he has been called out, set aside, and promised by God that this man is going to come. This is who this man is, read. But the Jews did not believe. The Jews, of course, they didn't believe what he was saying. Concerning him. Concerning him. That he had been blind mm -hmm. and received his sight mm -hmm. until they called the parents of him. Oh, so here I am. I'm going to prove this is a lie. I'm going to prove that this is not true. I'm going to prove that this man had come and he has set up a story on his own. And he's coming forth and he's going to pretend that he's somebody that he's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the real truth. Because you know back there during that time, you were subject to be killed for telling a lie. And for one thing about it is one thing about those people, they were afraid of those Jews. Read. And they asked them, saying, Is this your son? Is this your son? Who he said was born blind? This is what everybody's talking about. This guy is coming and saying he's blind. Come on, tell me the truth now, Brother Rudy. Is this your son? How then doth he now see? How is it possible, Brother Rudy, that this man can see? He's been born, he's been blind all his life, he's never seen daylight in the dark. And all of a sudden, this man will come up and talk about he can see me. But by what means he now see? How is it that he can be able to see? Was it so is that all the time he was faking and pretending that he couldn't see? And he could see all the time. He'd been watching, looking at everybody's business, sitting out there with his big basket trying to collect money because he's too lazy to get up off of his, his seat and get out and go and get a job and go to work? Is this the reason why he's doing this here? He can see all the time? What kind of thing is it that you all are doing? What is it that you all are doing to try to create money coming in? Read. We know not. We don't know nothing about what you're talking about. Or who has opened his eyes. I don't even know who opened his eyes. Read. He is of age. Ask him. Let me tell you this here. Huh? You're not talking to a little child now. He's a full grown man. He can be able to talk and he can be able to identify. He can be able to articulate for himself. So don't ask me what happened to him. I don't even know. I don't even know what you're talking about. Ask him. He's old enough. Speak. These words spake his parents. All right. Because they feared the Jews. They was afraid of him. For the Jews had agreed already mm -hmm. that if any man did confess that he was Christ, Did you hear that? He should be put out of the If any man did confessed what? That he was Christ. That he was Christ. He should be put out of the synagogue. He will be put out of the synagogue. Read. Therefore said his parents. His parents says unto him. He is of age. Ask him. Ask him. Then again called they the man that was blind. Mm -hmm. And said unto him, Give God the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. <laughs> I'm just going to make him be a sinner. I'm just going I'm, I'm to make Jesus a sinner anyway. I'm going to make him be a sinner. This thing, this is just, this just don't happen. This just cannot happen. Please. He answered and said, He answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or not. I don't care if he's a sinner or not. It makes me no difference. Let him be a sinner, saint, perpetrator, or whoever he chooses to be. Read. I know not. One thing I know. I it's one thing for a surety that I do know I can have any doubts in my mind about. I don't know that he's, I don't know that he's a man of God. I don't know that he was sent by God. I don't know whether he's a false prophet. I don't know any of those things. And I don't care. I could care less. But what I do care about. That whereas I was blind. Wherein is 
that before I was blind, now I see. But now I can see. Right. They sent to him again. They sent to him again. Go ahead, bring him back to him again. Bring him back here. What did he need to be? Now open he thy eyes. Now open he thy eyes. He answered them, I have told you already. I told you. Why do you keep bugging me? Why do you keep bugging me? Did not tell you? My story remains the same. I will not deter from what I already said. And he did not hear. He didn't hear. Wherefore would ye hear it again? Will you hear it again? Will ye also be his disciples? Will you be his disciple? That they reviled him and said, Thou art his disciples. Uh-huh. But we are Moses' disciples. Uh-huh. You see, they don't tell him talk about, but we are Moses' disciples. We're Moses. Read. We know that God spake 